Wake Up Mid Journey finally released its long awaited update version 6.1. Was it worth the wait? I think so, but I'll let you be the judge. Take a look at this. This image was made in version 6, but take a look at this prompt in 6.1. Like, whoa, isn't that insane? This is the same seed number, which means it's essentially the same image. Version 6.1 was built off the same engine as version 6, which is why these look so similar. Again, version 6 compared to this. Isn't that insane? So much better. One more example, version 6 to 6.1. I think there are clearly noticeable improvement. It is a better version of V6. If you didn't believe me, take a look at this example. Here is this prompt, the Chrono Trigger concept art in version 6 compared to 6.1. It's like night and day coherence. This is way better. From this to that, right? Isn't that amazing? Okay, one more example, version 6 to 6.1. Now these changes are kind of small and you might not notice them unless you do these direct comparisons. And you can run these tests on your own like this. You write your prompt, something silly, a cloud made up of tiny birds, the cloud is in the shape of a donut. Then all we need to do is write dash dash v, leave a space, and then an open curly bracket. We'll follow that with the number 6, a comma, and 6.1. Close it with a curly bracket. And the last thing we need to do is set a specific seed number. In this case, I chose 5236. It can be completely random. I'll make it a square ratio and I'll hit enter. That's going to run that prompt twice, one on the new version 6.1 and one on the old version 6. So we can really see the difference between the two. Now, from a distance, they do look similar, but there are some big changes when we zoom in. This is what happens in version 6. It's still good, for sure, but that's 6.1. It's a pretty big change. We'll go from this to that. You see what I mean? 6.1 is just better. But maybe you should lower your expectations on some of the advertised features. Like more precise, detailed, and correct small image features. Eyes, small faces, or faraway hands. Here's a Vogue photo shoot of 24 well-dressed medieval peasants. And if you zoom in and look, the faces aren't that great. But Midjourney also improved the upscalers. Did that solve the issue? Not really, I'll let you be the judge though. This is the improved subtle upscale for 6.1, and there's the creative upscale for 6.1. Small faces improved slightly, maybe they are better than version 6, but still, they're not all the way fixed yet, they're not perfect. That's something you might be waiting for in version 7 or later. Now, you should know that version 6.1 has been turned on by default for everyone. They want to collect as much data as possible to prepare for the next update, which means if you don't like 6.1, you can go into your settings and change the model version there. Or you could type dash dash v6 at the end of your prompt. 6.1 also generates faster, so that's kind of nice, and it is noticeable when you see it side by side. It's roughly 25% faster for standard generations. So, while small faces may not have improved as much as we'd hoped for, you should see the improvements to text. What I mean is simply the act of generating text in your prompt. You can place whatever you'd like in quotation marks and Midjourney will add it to your image. A minimal logo for the letters FTP. Version 6 is on the bottom and 6.1 is on top. Take a look at the difference. In each one of these, the top is so much better. 6.1 is way better than version 6. Like, look how cool these are. We'll go from this in V6, and honestly, it's not bad. Version 6 is pretty good. But 6.1 is way better. In my opinion, at least. There are a few more things that you should know about, like the addition of the quality parameter. You can include dash dash Q and a value of 2 at the end of your prompt. And it's a bit of a gamble. It could take around 25% longer to generate while also perhaps adding more texture at the cost of reduced image coherence. Let's just say the quality parameter isn't exactly precise. Let me show you an example. Here's a denim colored iPhone in version 6. Looks decent enough, sure. Same prompt in version 6.1, and maybe it does look a little better. And for this generation, we added quality 2 to the end of the prompt. Is this noticeable enough for you to use this? I really don't know. But keep it in mind, it might come in handy. And now I have a little bit of a special announcement for you. This morning, I launched my second course on color theory and application. This is a bit of a mini course, but I'll go over how to prompt for precision and clarity, as well as a deep dive into each color and some other cool lessons as well. 
I've uploaded about 60 to 70% of the content so far and I'll finish the rest soon, but for the next 7 days you'll get 25% off the course as an early access thank you from me to you. You can find a link to the course in the description below and use early25 at checkout for 25% off. Thank you so much for your support. I wouldn't be here without you. Now let's take a look at some more from version 6.1. Mainly I want to show you how the new model handles more coherence. In the face of a chaotic scene, version 6.1 is an improvement. Here's an anime cartoon scene with a lot going on. This is very chaotic. In version 6, it looks okay for sure, but check out the same prompt, same seed in 6.1. Isn't that way better? Like, way better? Super similar, but different enough, I think. Another good example will go from this, very chaotic, to this. Still chaotic, but way more coherent. That robot is holding the gun. That looks so good. We'll go from this, which if you look a little too closely, things start to fall apart to this. Isn't that awesome? I mentioned that text was a little improved and it works well through the remix feature. Here we have an astronaut pointing saying you're next, but I remixed it with very strong to have a bear pointing back saying no you. Next I remixed it to have an octopus pointing at that guy saying what about him? To which the wolf who's eating Doritos says look guys leave me alone. There are a few more direct comparisons I want to show you. Take a look at all these prompts. A doctor in the style of neon surrealism mixed with suprematism. The top prompt will be 6.1 and the bottom will be version 6. These were all made with the same seed number so that's why they look so similar. But I want to know, which do you think is better? To be honest, I would choose version 6 in some of these. I don't think version 6 is bad, but 6.1 is just that much more what I'm looking for. Like, look at this direct comparison. 6.1 to 6. Same here, version 6, yeah that looks kind of cool. 6.1 is better. 6.1 is better here, and it's better here. And I thought these were an interesting comparison. Here's a Mobius art style 80s sci-fi magazine art. 6.1 on top, 6 on the bottom. And again, which do you like better? I don't think there's a wrong answer, but I know which one I like more. This picture of Wonder Woman made me laugh. She's just throwing up the pointy fingers. And compared to this, you know what, maybe I like this one more. But this, 6.1, is way better than its counterpart in 6, right? And now this is also interesting. On the bottom is version 6, 6.1 in the middle, and 6.1 quality 2 on top. You will notice the differences, but are the differences worth it to you? Again, I'll have to let you be the judge. And finally, there were some small changes to the personalization feature. I'll make a video about this soon, namely the rolling codes that are now available. As you can see here, the changes are subtle, as subtle as they've been in the rest of the video. I heard pixel art also made a big improvement, and I think it's noticeable. I like 6.1 a lot here. Same with the Wonder Woman, I'm a fan of 6.1. And then look at this, we have close up pixel art. This doesn't look very good, but in 6.1, it looks like that. Isn't that awesome? Look, that's all you need to know about version 6.1. It's not V7, it's not completely different, but it is better. So please go enjoy, experiment, and let me know what you find. Don't forget to check out my new course in the description below. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.